today's goal is to piss people off with the straight pipe it's just so loud that everyone gives me that evil look like disturbing the peace uh, today's Sunday uh, today's church day and my city there's, there's a lot of people that go to church so you know what happens when everyone's trying to have a, a meeting and preachers and then you got a loud bike going by so we're going to be going toward the main city and if i have enough time we'll go to the park because i was at the park with my dog and there's a lot of people so we'll see if we make people upset purposely uh it looks like it's going to rain today so i'm gonna try to get this video done and piss everybody off Let's see if we can. Uh, I don't think I, I have to really try for it because, like I said, this exhaust is pretty loud. get people to look at me like I said it's just a loud bike there's a church right here it's still pretty early, so I don't think uh, church started yet. I think it's like uh, 3 o'clock. But yeah guys, uh, next year I'm planning to get a toy hauler and live inside of it full time. Uh, it's going to be the most convenient for me. Uh, my dog will be able to live with me and the bike stays in the trailer, uh, the toy hauler. And uh, the truck will stay with me. And so it makes it more convenient and easy. Plus I can still go to the racetrack with the toy hauler, the dog and the truck. Um, but that's that's my plan. There's nothing saying that that's going to work out because everything's are not cheap. I forgot to point it out I just passed the courthouse but it's not open uh, I could pass uh, I'll pass in front of the uh, police station
everyone's having a peaceful day and I'm just riding around with a loud exhaust fixing the bike to make it official racing is still on the way I'm still just waiting for all the pieces to fall together get the race fuel get get everything it needs to get dyno tuned so I'm still waiting for the final pieces and then I can make a little bit more videos I'm either ending making videos in October or November uh, I want to do one video of the truck and how it performs in the snow with uh, performance parts. I'll tell you guys right now the little secret, it sucks in the rain. Uh, 4x4, it, it does way much better on 4x4 but uh, front, front wheel drive or they call it too high uh, is horrible in the rain. The back end slides out, oh look at the BMW i8. Um, the back end slides out a lot. Um, even, even uh, in 4x4 in the snow, I mean, of course, 4x4 uh, won't save you from the snow, but still, uh, high performance trucks that has modded parts and stuff like that, they're not really that good in the snow or in the rain. You just gotta feather the, the, the gas and start off really slow. So this is downtown, it's a small little downtown. Right now we're gonna go to the police station. Like I said, just piss everybody off. Got nothing else better to do. I get those dirty looks like why oh no that's the, not the police station damn it I missed it oh there's a cop right there though that's gonna be nice That yellow light. Put some space between me and that cop. Two. 
so yeah guys like the rv thing is it's like basically a must because i gotta go to the racetrack and instead of just renting a trailer out or getting an enclosed trailer which are still around four thousand to seven thousand for enclosed trailer um i might as well get an rv or a toy hauler rv and just live in it full time and they're not cheap they're looking around twenty thousand uh, dollars but at least monthly wise comparing to rent or a house payment is more cheaper um and again like i said it's convenient for me because the bike stays with me uh in the in the trailer and i can just leave the trailer at a a, a park where they allow uh, rvs to park at and you'll pay a rental fee for keeping the trailer there and it ain't going to be easy but this is my better option Like it's about to rain so i might go ride in front of the police station and then just call it a day and uh go straight home put the bike away uh because it's been a crappy weather for at least i want to say four days uh cloudy or either just raining or it's been chilly too i mean obviously because we're in september so we're getting to fall but it's getting chilly out and uh this bike well a lot of bikes don't really a sports bike at least don't run really good in the cold uh tires being cold is a big disaster between uh getting grip to accelerate and stopping so you're stopping and your acceleration is not the best in the cold i think today is like 75 But yeah Taxpayer dollars going so well into these roads. And the thing is, they'll get them running, like, they'll get them perfect. And then out of nowhere, they'll come back and just destroy it. So bikes have been out all day, but again, I think a lot of them are putting their bikes away. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell in the camera, but it's getting cloudy. It was kind of sunnier than earlier. But I used up my sunny moments to take my dog out for a walk and get them tired so I can do this video.
going to get the uh, Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa 3s or SP3s. Um, those are for more racing than the ones I have. These are more for uh, road uh, or tr uh, going on a regular road and just drive, ride around. But you can still take them to uh, track days and drag racing. But the ones that I'm going to get are going to be more for racing. And I also want to get tire warmers to warm up the tires so I don't have to do burnouts to get the tires uh, warmed up. Tires ain't cheap. Alright. Here's the police station. I'm going to turn left here. me it makes people break their neck and get really upset not everybody likes loud exhaust especially when they're in their moments of just they want peace and quiet or they're trying to have a conversation and, and stuff like that yesterday I know I pissed off my neighbor I was trying to move the bike somewhere else to turn it on because she was on the phone outside but uh, the way our sidewalk is it has a little hump where I couldn't get the front tire over to go on the street so I can you know park it and so I could park it and turn on the bike so I wouldn't be rude but I had no choice to be rude so oh man to get everything done with the bike and I got to order a race suit, racing boots, racing gloves to match the, uh, the best I can and next year is race day.
the leaves are already started falling I mean that's obvious it's fall time so again it's gonna be difficult to really get into going fast and or even tuning the bike when I put all these aftermarket parts um, if anything I'll have to like tune it in springtime when everything starts getting better and get the bike ready to race and I'll be making multiple videos how you prep your bike for racing uh, for track days how do you uh, tie up your bike on a U-Haul trailer so stuff like that so I'll have like a lot of videos to make it just all depends if there's money for it but all right guys uh, I hope I pissed off a lot of people out here on the streets plus on YouTube saying that I'm an ass but it just comes with having a straight pipe it's not it's not something that I want it's a straight pipe I, I really do want my my muffler but I still haven't gotten a, a call back yet from M4 if not I'll call M4 personally uh, during the week and see what's going on but all right guys Everyone ride safe, drive safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.